Hello, now that the we've built it up, now we need to start bringing it down. So in frame nine, we're gonna move our Y values just down one value. Uh, so we have frame nine. I'm first gonna take all the stuff that I coded in my previous line, copy it in and turn all those 246s back to zeros because we wanna make them error. There we go. Our next step is to copy or paste that same code. And now we're just going to turn our Y values from Y plus five to Y plus four. It's as easy as that. That should be all we need to do to make this work. So now you look at this, I run it, it comes up, spreads out and moves down. Perfect. Now, uh, we just need to move it down one more frame. Have that sleep for half of a second. Now here's our next frame. So in our next frame, we're gonna take the same, our previous code, paste it in and turn it all to zeros. And then we're going to just move our Y values down one more to the Y plus three. And here we go. And so that is just turning into air. And now we paste it again. So I can turn all of my Y plus fours into Y plus threes where we're gonna have glowing obsidian. So here, when we run it, it should go up, go out and go down too. Perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to start coming back in towards the middle. So, cause our fountain comes up, spreads out and then comes back together. So now we're gonna bring this all in. So I'm gonna adjust this so we can code all these values cause it's a little bit more difficult. So here's our frame 11. First step, take all of this previous stuff, paste it in and now we can uh, turn it all to zeros. All right. And now we have to code each of these. You can see that the Y plus two is always going to be, or the Y value is always going to be Y plus two. Our first one, we have X plus two, Y plus two, and our Z is at Z plus one. And again, that's 246. Our next block over is going to be X plus three, Y plus two, and Z plus two. And again, 246. Now we have the block on top, which is at X plus two, Y plus two, Z plus three. And the block on the left on the X, Z is our last block we have to do, deal with. That's X plus one, Y plus two, Z plus three. Oh, it looks like I made a little mistake. I wrote set blocks instead of set block. Well, I'll run this and I'll show you what this is gonna look like. Oh, and I need to time that sleep up here. All right, so if I ran this, it will look like this. It's gonna go up and we're expecting it to go down and in, but it doesn't go in. That's because I have set blocks instead of set block. So I'm just gonna go in and modify that. That's just a little mistake of mine. And now I should run it and it comes up, spreads out, and then comes in. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Now we just have two quick frames and we are done with the main code of this. So uh, in frame 12, we're going to take just one block. And but first we have to get rid of all of the blocks from our previous frame. So let's turn all those to air. And now we have to add our one block. 
So MC dot set block. And it's going to be at X plus two, Y plus one, Z plus two. And that's 246 again. Now we can have our time dot sleep for a half of a second. Now when I pull it up and run it, it should come back together. So it comes up, comes out, comes in, and back down. Now I want one more frame at the end our frame 13 is going to have one more thing in it where it just gets rid of our previous block. So it gives it a, a half a second to rest with nothing there. So I'm just going to take and copy this, paste it, and turn it to zero. So now it comes in and disappears. All right. I think this is doing what we want.